Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at QR codes. So what are QR codes? Well, they're these little boxy barcode-like things that you see popping up everywhere nowadays. For instance, look in this magazine and in the ad here, you can see it in the corner. Uh, here's another magazine ad and it's at the bottom right here. And you can see them in other places like business cards, uh, posters use them. I've even seen them on television and in movie trailers. So what are they? Well, they contain information, usually a URL for a page on the web. So instead of seeing, say, an advertisement somewhere and it giving you this long URL that you then have to type into your web browser, you can simply scan the QR code using your mobile phone and it will take you right to the page. Now if you have an iPhone there are a variety of apps. Just search for QR codes in the App Store and they come up with tons of different apps that will scan the QR codes. Some of them cost a little bit more than others. Uh, usually ones that have more features like the ability to scan barcodes or to keep records of your scans. Um, but there's a few very simple ones. I'm going to use one simply called Scan. So when I run Scan it just basically shows video right there and all I need to do is pass a QR code like the one from this magazine just right in front of it and it will buzz when it gets something and then it will jump to the web page right there in the app and I can see what it is that the QR code points to. Now you can also easily create your own QR codes. Search for QR code creator and you come up with a ton of free websites that allow you to create them. Now they'll always pass those URLs through their own servers so you want to choose carefully. I'm going to just show an example. I'm going to use Google's URL shortener which is goo.gl. You can use this to create a short URL so I'm going to paste in here the uh, link to the online password security guide at MacMost. Um, I'm going to say shorten it and it's going to create a short link to it which of course is useful in its own right. But I also get it listed down here. It keeps a history of the short URLs I've created as long as I'm logged into my Google account. I'm going to click on details for that and you can see that it'll take me to some stats and some information about that but in addition it'll also show me the long URL, short URL and a QR code here uh, to the right. I can easily then uh, right click on this and copy the image uh, or just drag it out of the browser there and use that in anything. Make, put it in a business card, uh, a poster, anything I want to make I can then put this QR code there. So QR codes have been around for a long time. They started in the automotive industry and only recently have moved over to advertising and website URLs. Built into the structure of the code is a lot of error correction. That means they can be read very quickly by cameras of various qualities and always get the URL right. You don't have to worry about errors. So hope you found this useful or at least interesting. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.